All right. Well, before I introduce our next guest, I should probably deliver a warning of sorts because the three gentlemen sitting with me have been known to be somewhat salty. Please be assured that we've apprised them of uh, CRTC regulations regarding offensive language and asked them to behave because the men surrounding me at this moment are famous Canadians, one and all, but they're famous for being schemers, liars, layabouts, cheats, drug dealers, kidnappers, and convicts. Sorry, guys. I, I'm, I gotta, oh my God. Pissing me off, man. Of course, because this is Canada, so land of the underdog and the second chance, uh, such deeds don't necessarily doom them to lives on the fringes of society. Au contraire, in the case of our next guest, it's helped turn them into film and television stars, underclass heroes, to Canadians from coast to coast. I'm, of course, talking about the Trailer Park Boys. For the past eight years, we've been invited into their lives and given full witness to both their dubious triumphs and their spectacular failures. Soon, the boys will say goodbye, but they're doing it with some style. A December 7th television special entitled Say Goodnight to the Bad Guys. I'm pleased to welcome to Studio Q the pride of the Halifax Municipal Region's Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Bubbles, Ricky, Julian, the Trailer Park Boys. Hello, guys. Hey, man, you called us salty. What the hell do you mean by that? Well, I, I'm not salty. I had a shower salty. this morning. <laughs> so did I. I, I, I'm just, I, I, was, like, I was referring to the language, you know. It's the CBC. We get some people who, who are worried about salty language, you know. How do you talk salty? Mm. It's kind of like talking peppery, I guess, but salty. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys, how you you guys are you doing? You seem very, you seem very calm. And, and, and that was a harsh intro. Yeah, big time. Oh my goodness. Drug dealers yeah. and everything else. Well, I mean, I I'm a farmer. You. I'm not really a. Well, I guess I do deal stuff, but you didn't have to say that to everybody. Yeah, but, but now that it's out there, you may as well, you know, get some customers. Well, I guess, yeah, yeah if people are listening to this. I will be outside of the studio in about 15 <laughs> minutes. And I do have different things on me. <laughs> um, and and I, I think I said schemers, too. <clears throat> schemers. <laughs> but, but, I mean, Julian, you know, you got to admit, you, you like a good scheme, no? Well, yeah, I mean, if it's going to make you some money, it's a, it's a good scheme. Thanks, man, for the rum. Thanks for the hookup. Whatever that is there. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. dude. Tre- the problem with drinks him, being brought in. He's not, a, he's not a very good schemer, though. That's the problem. And he always screws I'm it good. up, or we lose the money, or we end up Come in jail. Come on. Oh, I should be in charge. That's all I'm saying. I want to. I want to get to that. First of all, can I, I want to. I've had a question for you guys for about eight years. Uh, Bubbles, Ricky, and Julian. Period. That's it. You don't have last names. Do you have last names? Well, <clears throat> can you throw I us was, a little bone after eight years? I was abandoned by my parents. You know, when I was about five, and I've always just been called Bubbles. I'm not exactly sure what my last name is. You know, I heard, think it starts with an R, but I don't know what it is. You don't. Uh, and you guys. Well, mine's complicated. <laughs> my mom left, and my dad, like, he had a few different names growing up, so he didn't know which one to go with, and then he kind of forgot what they were. And so, yeah, I, I don't really know what my last name is either. Julian, do you not know your last name as well? Well, you know, my dad, he was a bit of a drunk. He left me when I was about six, and uh, I'm not really happy about that. He didn't tell me the last name, so, you know, it's, it's just Julian. Uh, all right, so that's it. We don't. I'm legally. I'm going in. I'm already. You can, filled out the application yeah, to, to apply for a last name. I'm going to have <laughs> a last name. There's lots of name, people, so. you know, like McDonough and the. Uh, what, what What are you going with, Bubbles? The King or whatever. It is. I I was thinking about. I don't know. I'd like to maybe just have a you know a funny last name like Bubbles Tickle Pants or something. <laughs> maybe. What about Murphy? Bubbles Murphy. You Bubbles saw Chris Murphy? Murphy. No, I don't want. Be called Bubbles Murphy. No. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with Bubbles Murphy? It just doesn't have a good <laughs> ring to it. Just doesn't roll off the tongue. Bubbles Murphy. <laughs> Bubbles Deckle Pants, on the other hand. Right. That rolls off the tongue. If I was going to do that, I'd change my whole name right to Chris Murphy and then start <laughs> telling people I was in Sloan. <laughs> Right, well, and which might have its advantages at times. It should right? be a weird name, like Bubbles Floating or something. Okay, Ricky. <laughs> That's. I am baked right now. I Ricky, guess. Uh, you're so, trying to help. Uh, uh, and you, did, you, did you guys get to meet Buffy St. Marie when you were the iconic Buffy St. Marie? Yes, you, we did. We just yeah. met her. 
It's pretty cool. That's yeah, pretty cool, huh? I yeah. thought she was lying. I didn't think it was actually her, but it was. Why? Why? Why wouldn't you think it was her? Oh, there's imposters walking around the building. Believe me. Yeah. I met a guy that claimed to be on the air first, and then <laughs> security grabbed him and hauled him out. It wasn't him. <laughs> right. Right. And so you thought it might be somebody posing as oh, Buffy St. Marie. And she looks like she's 25. So she's she, hot. She does look. She's really she, hot. She's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's true. She's, she, uh, lovely looking lady uh, she, well, I, she she's watching us right now i think i think she's probably feeling she's feeling good she's waving feeling good well, you, she welcome to come in anytime buffy the boys think you're hot uh <clears throat> so what's going on guys we're no longer going to be privy to your cunning exploits you've been you've never been particular camera uh, particularly camera shy i mean w- w- why are we no longer going to get to see what's going on you know there's people across this country who depend on those cameras following you guys around and knowing what's happening in your it's lives. It's the camera guys. They don't want to do it anymore. And, and the sound dicks. Those guys don't want to do it. I mean, well, I'm quite upset about it. Well, 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 why don't they want to do it anymore? Did they tell you? Not really. And I mean, you know, when they first started doing it, I didn't, you know, I didn't like them. I used to try to put the run to them and I'd, you know, slap them around every now and then. But over the years, I sort of... You'd think you become friends. I sort of got to know them, and I like when they're around now, and now they're not coming back. And it's upsetting. Well, well, Julian, did they give a reason why they're not going to be around? I, I don't know. I mean, they didn't give me any reason at all. They just said, hey, listen, we're not coming back next year. So, you know, I, I, we've got to respect that and say, you know, thanks. But this is going to affect your lives. I mean, you guys have been, yeah. you know... Uh, Canadian heroes. People, people know you from based on on watching you on TV, and all of a sudden you're not going to be on TV. How do you feel about that, Ricky? Well, you know what? It's uh, mixed feelings, but you know the last thing we did there was a lot of sucker punching going on. Like the camera guy would just walk up and sucker punch me, and the next day I'd sucker punch the sound guy, and there was weird things going on the last time. And maybe that's what it is, but <laughs> it's kind of like the cat and the squirrel. Like you hate each other, and. And then if one of you goes on vacation or dies or leaves, and you kind of miss the other one. If one of the cat or the squirrel goes on vacation? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's just one of those weird relationships where you hate each other, but you love each other. Yeah. Do you guys hate each other or love each other? Um, I, mean, I mean, we, three of we you like each other. We're like a brothers. I don't know if we love each other. Well, we like, love well, each other. Well, we he just doesn't like saying stuff like that because he feels funny. You know, but, you know, it's, I do. I love these guys. You do, yeah. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I don't mean I love them that way. I just love them like brothers. Right, right. Ricky, you yeah, you totally. love you love the guys. Yeah, I mean, I just think Julian's being silly. Julian, you can't uh, I, even you as know, brothers, right? Well, they're, like, they're like brothers, you know. They're like brothers. It's not like I'm asking you to take your shirt off, Julian. <laughs> uh, Ricky and uh, and Julian, I mean, you guys are best friends, are you brothers? Uh, you do both display qualities of the alpha male. I mean, uh, when it comes to it, after all these years, who is the top dog? Who who rules the trailer park? Uh oh. Well, me. But no, no, he no. thinks it's no. Him. I, it's me. I come up with the plan. I know what I'm doing. Okay, Rick. But then we end up in jail. So from now on, I'm going to because be of the, you. I'm going to be the uh, what was the thing you called it? The is alpha it? dog. Yeah. The yeah. alpha dog is me now. Yeah, whatever. Bubbles, who who do you, I mean, I, I hate to put you in this position, but who do you really ultimately listen to between these two guys? Well, it depends on the situation, you know. Sometimes I listen to Julian. Sometimes I listen to Ricky. I mean, often Ricky's brain doesn't calculate things out properly, and you can hear the, you know, things shorten out in there and you know not to listen to him at that point but sometimes that's a nice thing to say well sometimes you listen to imaginary things and sometimes you listen to puppets and everything else so you're crazier than me you listen to puppets sometimes bubbles i don't listen to puppets no that's not accurate uh, Bubbles, you're the sensitive one of the bunch, uh, right? I mean, you love kitty cats. You're very protective of your friends. Uh, it, but in, in many respects, their scheming, these two guys, has brought you a lot of grief. I mean, when is enough enough for you? Well, a lot of the times I'm just, you know, I can see things coming. I can see the train about to derail, and I just try to keep them out of jail. But sometimes I stick around too long and I go to jail. Yeah, I mean, Bubbles is a good guy. He's one of those, you know, you shave my back, I'll shave yours, and he gets caught up in it sometimes. And I mean, we feel bad, but what what do you do? Shave backs. <laughs> Bubbles, why have you, have you not ever thought of just just getting a fresh start somewhere else? 
Well, I, no, not really. No? I mean... I down, down the road in Truro, <clears throat> maybe? or No, I mean, I was... Last year, I almost moved away because I'm trying to be a spaceman. I'd like to become a spaceman one of these days. Like and, an astronaut? Yes, an astronaut. I'd like to fly the space shuttle, you know, and I've been trying. I was thinking about moving down there and pursuing that, but Jesus, it's not easy to become a spaceman. <laughs> no. Well, uh, maybe you should go through some sort of training if, if you're really... Uh, I've been training myself. You have? In the park, yes. How, do, how have you been training to be an astronaut? Well, I built like a big centrifuge that yeah. I get in and I spin myself unmercifully, you know, to the point where I piss my pants sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, I can hold my breath for about four minutes. You know, I can swim like Aquaman. I can do everything you need to do. Aquaman? Yeah. Wow. You'd have to buy some new eyes, though. My eyes work fine, Ricky. I can see everything I need to see. You guys, I, I got to ask you about Mr. Leahy. I mean, uh, drunk. You know, well, y y yeah. I mean, he he's been your nemesis for years, and and and, and let me be c careful of libel laws here. But the man is a is a, a drunk, I guess. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> if he, why has he be able been able to outwit you for so long? What, what's the what's the secret to Mr. Leahy always getting the? I mean, you'd think that you guys, the three of you, could put your brains together and and beat Leahy. Well, he doesn't outwit me. He outwits. Julian, I guess. Yeah, and, right. No. I think, I don't know, it has, it has a lot to do with drinking, and sometimes he just gets lucky, and he just, he, he won't leave us alone. He drives me nuts. A scale of 1 to 10 of hatred, he's like a 14, and the Cameron Sound guys are about an 11. <laughs> you hate the Cameron Sound guys? Well, I thought like you said you, cat thought, squirrel kind of thing. But right, yeah, right, the cat the squirrel, yes. There's some Haiti there for sure. And what about what about uh, Lucy and Sarah? I, I don't want to be... Well, I don't hate into, them. Well, honestly. no, I, I don't want to get into a sensitive area here, but when we did our show live from Halifax, they came on the show, and they said, uh, you know, Lucy, Ricky was saying that she's finally had it. She's... Uh, uh, she's looking for a uh, new man. She wanted to leave, go across the country with Sarah, looking for, for uh, new guys. Uh, uh, she feels well, like... she might want to mention that to me. I, I didn't know that. I thought we were great. You, you, you've, you've never heard that from her? No, well, she... I mean, we have the odd arguments and stuff like that, but, I mean, that's why me and Lucy are together, because she's cool with, you know, smoking dope and growing dope and playing video and games banging and everyone, and, Rick. That's a nice thing to say. Yeah, there. well, you know, it's the truth. We're on TV right now, and you're going to say that. We're not on TV. There's cameras here. Yeah, we're... <laughs> All right. J-Rock, our very own uh, J-Rock, J the, the, the rapper. Uh, do you believe that he will have a career as a musician? Well, some of his, some of his rhymes aren't the greatest, you know, to be honest. And he doesn't have what they call mad skills. But I don't know. He's he's you know he's pretty. He's pretty good. He's pretty persistent and he's determined to, you know, be a rap star. So you you know I wouldn't count him out. That's for sure. Uh, looking back on the past eight years, you guys, everything that's happened uh, both <laughs> on the show and to you three as individuals, um, uh, wh what are you most proud of? Start with that, Julian. I don't know. I mean. The boys back in jail, they're watching the show, which is pretty cool. They they all like it. You you know, you go back to jail and you get kind of special treatment, which is pretty cool. So I guess I don't know. That, that's that's pretty cool to me. Bubbles, sorry, I blacked out. What was the question? Oh, so what are you proud of over the last eight years? Oh, um, hanging out with I'm Alex just, Alex I mean, Lifeson. That yes, that was a yeah, it was pretty good. You know, I'm <laughs> very proud of that that I was able to. You know, still <clears throat> befriend the man after Recky kidnapped him, called him a drunk male prostitute. I didn't kidnap him. He, What'd agree you do? he agreed to come with me, so right. I was a kidnapping. Yeah, you bored him. Right. He didn't yeah. agree to go with you. You duct taped him up and stole him. Well, he came with me, and I don't know. He's <laughs> Alex a, it turned Alex out he's a good guy. So, uh, what do you guys, what's your sense of why can it, you've had a hit show? For many years in this country, your cult figures. What's your sense of why Canadians have found you so compelling? I guess because they can just learn a lot from us. As far as uh, <clears throat> you know, it's good being a good friend and and how to be a good parent, especially for me. So I mean, it's good that way. I think, and also you know how to take care of yourself and make a decent living. You know, without maybe getting a real job. 
Uh, Julian, what's your sense of why people have been so compelled by you guys? I don't know. I think people, uh, they're probably entertained by Ricky because usually he doesn't really make the, the right decision every now and then. He's, you know, he's not that bright. That's not true. <laughs> I think Julian thinks that people watch it because they think he's, you know, a sexy man with big muscles and stuff. What are you talking about? Well, I've heard you mention that. You to just call people. it, but it, it, it's sexy? Oftentimes you do sort of think that, Julian. No. Have you have you guys have you been surprised by the enduring level of uh, of uh, interest and and celebration around you guys from Canadians, yes, and, and in fact absolutely. people around the world? Absolutely. I mean, we go places and people, you know, actually freak out. I was on the street yesterday, and this little guy got so excited he put me in the headlock. <laughs> he didn't know what else to do, so he put me in the headlock. I cranked him, knocked him out, but. You know, that's, he was just, I realized after the fact, he was just trying to be nice. I felt bad. I almost killed him. This TV special, uh, <clears throat> is this the last time we're going to be seeing you, or is there a Trailer Park Boys movie coming out as well? There is a movie, yes. There is a movie. Yeah. And when, when, when's the movie coming out? So when's the real end of the Trailer Park Boys? You guys are like the who. who keep hearing that there's going to be the end, well, and, then you, and then you play more shows. I mean, it's never going to end. There's, the cameras just won't be there. I mean, we'll still be doing crazy stuff and everything else, but uh, I guess the cameras just won't be there. Here, you, 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 got a, you got a phone call, Ricky? Yeah, there's so, something going on there. It's probably Lucy. <laughs> we've it's probably got these, a client. We've got these phones that the phone people gave us. Yeah. Look, there's no wires going to it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you know, we've got a cell phone there. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen one. It's fantastic. So when will the movie be gracing <laughs> the screens? I think they said next year, like next, next year? summer, something like that. And then is it like Star Trek where you guys start, you move away from TV <clears throat> and you just start making movies? Well, I've been offered a, I met a, this fella from Japan and he asked me if I'd like to be in a Kung Fu movie that he's making. Starring in it, so I'm going to do that next month. Isn't, that, serious? isn't Jim Nunn in that too or something he said? Oh, I hope so. I'd chop him right in the neck. <laughs> is that a true story? Are you going to be in it? A- yes, it's like a Jackie Chan type movie and they tell me they can... You know, with camera tricks and whatnot, they can make me look like I know what I'm doing. And the stern Jim Nunn. No, it's not stern. It's stern me. Okay, cool. And there's apparently a scene where they blast me out of a cannon. Nice. <laughs> I want to um, I want to play some music coming out of this. I've picked. You tell me whether this is cool with you. All right. I've picked a song from the album Signals, from 1982. Yeah. A little song called Subdivisions. Fantastic. You want to set this up for us, Bubbles? I think you just did, didn't you? <laughs> Do you want to tell us why you why you might be a fan of this? Well, I mean, <clears throat> I've been a big Rush fan, you know, forever. And getting to, you know, play live with them and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's fantastic. Subdivisions is great. Great track. Yeah, those guys are pretty good at playing what they play, <laughs> too. Yeah, they're pretty good. And still, and still uh, rocking the arenas. Uh, guys, thanks for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thank thanks you. For Trailer Park Cheers, Boys. Man. Bubbles, Ricky, Julian, a.k.a. Mike Smith, Rob Wells, J.P. Tremblay. They've been with me live in Studio Q.